Are you here to see Professor Dumbledore? I am too. Are you all right? Come on, what's the matter? It's silly. A Slytherin stole my gobstone. It's a noisy hitter my mum got me for Christmas. Who was it? Him. Wait here. I'll get your gobstone back. Hey, did you take a noisy hitter from the girl over there? What's it got to do with you? Give it back. What are you going to do? Jinx me? I'm sure Professor Snape would love to know you've been jinxing Slytherins. He might even give you detention. Stupefy! Stupefy! Expelling armor! Now hand over that noisy hitter. I hope it gobs all over you. And next time, think twice before you bully someone. Here you are. Thanks! Harry, you're the best. Uh, acid pops. Good evening, Harry. Professor, about Malfoy and... Snape. Professor Snape. I've told you, Harry, I trust Severus. My answer has not changed. Now, to the business at hand. I have not been able to find many memories of Tom Riddle at Hogwarts. I did, however, find this one. Good gracious, look at the time. Off you go, boys. The strange Avery, don't forget your essays. Look sharp there, Tom. No, Tom, I don't know anything about war crunches. But I wouldn't tell you if I did. Now get out of here. I don't understand. What happened? Professor Slughorn has tampered with his memory. Harry, I asked you to get to know Professor Slughorn. Now, I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. Any way you can. That memory is everything. But, I believe you have Quidditch practice. You'll find your way there more easily now the orders have opened more of the castle. Good day, Harry. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Hello, Harry. Professor McGonagall's looking for you. Do you know what she wants? No, but she's waiting for you in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Sounded important. McGonagall. She was rather insistent. Ah, there you are. I wanted to talk to you after the unfortunate events at the Burrow over Christmas. Why is it always you? Mm -hmm. When something happens? Believe me, Professor. I've been asking myself that for years. I heard you've joined the dueling club, Harry. I think you should follow his example, and the Weasleys, too. You can't be too prepared. Don't limit yourself to your friends in Gryffindor, mind. Ah, here's the person we were waiting for. Hi, Harry. Alanis here is captain of the Ravenclaw Dueling Club. You come along with me, Miss Granger, and we'll sign you up with Gryffindor Dueling Club. Would you like to practice casting Levy Corpus with us? I've always wanted to learn that spell. Okay. Let me 
thanks for teaching us that. Be careful, though. You might find some Ravenclaws casting at you in future duels. Let's try a proper duel while you're here. Ravenclaw's junior champion against Harry Potter. For that, Harry. As a special member's privilege, you can use that portrait shortcut over there. The password is light against darkness. Why don't you try our dueling challenge? Just go to the notice board when you're ready to give it a go. I believe you're due at a Quidditch training session. I am rather hoping Gryffindor will win the Quidditch Cup this year. Get yourself along there, Potter. Great Quidditch teams are not built on hardness. Hey, Nick! Oh, hello, Harry. Shouldn't you be at the Quidditch pitch with the rest of your team? Light against darkness. <laughs> and a good morning to you, Harry. Beatles. Beatles, Beatles, Beatles. 